Hey, Huns, I'm back again with another video. As you can see, I am mixing up some cake mix. It's for Easter. You see all those pretty colors? I decided to make an Easter cake for the kids. Since everybody's in quarantine, I want them to be a little happy. So I decided to make an Easter cake. And I don't have a blender. I could have bought a blender. Actually, I bought a blender years ago. And I guess I'm just old-fashioned. But um, I'm going to go ahead and mix this really good. I hope you all can see all the colors. I like to at least mix it for at least 10 minutes. To make sure it be good and moist after I cook it. These are my pans. I have the Duncan Hines pans. Cake pans. And I've already buttered both of them. And uh, I'm going to mix this really well. And I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished product. I want this cake to turn out really a golden brown. So, as I finish mixing this, and uh, when they are done, I will come back and let you guys see the finished product before I decorate it for Easter. I plan on putting some pretty little pearls on there for Easter. See you guys in a moment, guys. I wanted to show you all me pouring this in the pan so you all can experience these pretty colors with me. Those are some pretty colors. So is anyone, if anyone is considering to uh, make an Easter cake, it's really not too late. But uh, this would be some fun colors to use for Easter. That's if you didn't get a chance to go out and get a lot of Easter candy. Because the stores are really full of Easter candy. It's just hard to get out and get the Easter candy because... You try to stay away from a lot of people as much as you can, like every like they have ordered us to do. And like I said, I, I don't have a mixer. I'm kind of old fashioned, so. But believe me, it's mixed very well, and it will come out very well. I want to try to fill these pans so they can be kind of when I get done because I plan on stacking them together in the cake pan okay it looks like I have them pretty about the same Height. Just gonna clean that little edge off. And can you all see those pretty beautiful colors? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. And the reason why I say 30 minutes because these are some smaller pans, so I don't want them to overcook. And I will also be checking on them within the 30 minutes. So. I will be back to let you guys see when they're done cooking. You can see that they rise really good and look at those colors. Those colors are really pretty. So I'm probably gonna put cream cheese on this one and the other one over here. I'm probably just gonna leave them without the icing because actually you can cut this one into little squares and uh, it will be good as well because it's already kind of sweet. And I plan on adding these pearls and some cream cheese frosting that I got from Walmart. I plan on uh, icing this one. And uh, I cooked the cakes for 25 to 30 minutes because I said earlier that, you know, the cake was kind of, the pan was kind of small, so I didn't want to overcook it. I know a lot of times on the cake box, it'll say cook around about uh, 40 35 to 45 minutes, but I didn't want to cook it too long. But as you can see, I'm going to stick my fork in here and it's going to come out with the crumbs on it. So it's fully cooked in the inside and it came out really pretty. But I'm going to cut one of them and I'm going to show you guys how it look inside with the icing and the other one without the icing. But I will be adding the cream cheese frosting to it. 
And uh, like I said, this will be a good treat for your kids. Uh, if you haven't went out to the store and got candy and your local grocery store is still open, it's still time to go cook them a sweet treat up like this cake. This is the uh, Duncan Hines birthday cake mix. And you can go out and pick that up if they don't have candy. And uh, just make them a quick dessert for dinner. And it takes about maybe an hour and a half for the whole thing with the mixing and and uh, with the letting it cool and probably another 15 to get it iced up. So I'll be get back to show you guys the finished product when I put the icing on it. That's again. And I was just coming back to show you guys the finished product. Um, this cake was uh, baked on. It was done in like around about 35 minutes. And... Um, Inside, it is the birthday cake. I had showed you guys that earlier. So I just put some frosting on, and then I just made some designs like this, just going up with the spoon on the side, and then on the top, I just made some designs like that. This is the cream cheese icing, what I had showed you guys earlier. But I wanted to go back over to show you guys how I made the little swirls on there. It's just a spoon from the kitchen, as you can see. And I just went all the way around. Same thing on the side. And just going back over it. Because I know a lot of people be wondering, might wonder, well, how did she get the swirls on there? <laughs> just a spoon from the kitchen, huns. Okay, I'm going to put that down. And then these are the pearls that I was telling you guys that I was going to use. So I'm just gonna start putting them on. I'm gonna try to do, maybe like spread them out. And these are just some Easter colors that you can put on the cake for the kids. Make it all pretty. I'm gonna spread that one out a little more so it can be on the end. And then I'm just gonna start back on this side. with different colors. Actually, these are edible, and all they are is, if anyone know what cichlids are, they are cichlids. Spread that one out. So that, it's, it's like a chocolate candy in the inside of this pearl. But these pearls are really cute. I'm trying to do different colors all the way around. But like I said, even you can do this even if you didn't, like I said, if you didn't get a chance to go out and get the kids uh, Easter candy because, you know, they want us to try to stay in the house as much as possible so this spread will stop. And uh, I think they're doing the right thing, you know, and I think a lot of people are participating. So I want to thank everyone, you know, that who who's following the guidelines and who are participating in this. So, you know, we can be back with our loved ones and, you know, be able to see them in person instead of just, you know, talking on the phone. A lot of times you have to see people in person. So the people that are, I'm gonna move this spoon. So the people that are participating in it, I really appreciate it. So I'm just gonna stick some on the side right here. I'm gonna try to save enough for the entire cake it's only probably about, it might be about 50, 50 little pearls. So on the side, I'm just gonna try to spread them out so it'll be enough to fill the entire cake. Cause I wanna put some in the middle as well. But this is a little fun treat for the kids and I was about to say earlier that it's not too late. You can still go to your local grocery store and pick up a box of cake mix or two and have that to eat for dinner tonight. Because I'm pretty sure the kids are getting bored because, wow, I'm an adult and I'm getting really bored of staying in the house. But we have to follow the rules. So this, you know, it shall pass like other things that, you know, pass on and everybody will be back out enjoying the theme parks and enjoying the water parks and 
birthday parties, get-togethers. You know, everybody be back out enjoying everything. But it really takes focus and it, it really takes a lot. But I know we can do it. So I'm going to go back in the middle. I have about maybe, maybe 20 left in this bowl. I'm going to try to just decorate the top of it. The middle part of it. These little pearls are so cute. I got them from Walmart. They wouldn't, but like Nene sent, they came in a little, little plastic bag. You can get them over there in the, on the cake aisle in Walmart where they have a lot of the cake items. Where the cake mix are, is and uh, the frosting. Birthday candles. So if you know where that aisle is in Walmart, it's over there in the food section. If you know where that aisle is, you can go over there and pick up these little pearls. You know, you can even do this. You don't have to do this. I'm going to change that color because I don't want it to be orange on orange. But if you have an idea, you can even do this for another holiday. This can be done for a birthday, any type of event. Especially for a child, because they'll be so excited to see these colors. Okay, I got one more, so I'm going to move that one over just a little bit. And I'm going to place that one right there. So this is my finished product. And you can see I got pearls all the way around. And this will be a nice cake for the kiddos um, for Easter. It's so cute. And this is the one that I said that I was, uh, I'm going to move this one out the way. And this is the one that I said I wasn't going to put icing on because I know some of the family members, they like icing and a lot of them don't like a lot of icing. Me, myself, I don't like a lot, a lot of icing, so I just cut these in, in squares. As you see, all of them will come up. I just cut them in squares, so we'll have this probably about a couple of days with the one that's iced. So if you can see inside, that's the finished product on the one that I didn't ice. I'm going to put, put that back down. That'll be a good treat with some ice cream or something on it for Easter if if you guys got a chance to uh, pick up some ice cream. So that is the finished product. And I hope you guys uh, will go get a chance to pick up this and maybe you can add these treats for dinner for Easter for the kids. But these are my Easter treats. And this only cost me under, the cake mix was about 98 cents a box. And then the pearls was 98 cents. So this is uh, two sweet treats for under $3. I'm not going to say under $3, but a little over $3. So thank you, Hans. And these are the finished products. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, please subscribe, and please, please, please hit that bell. So when I drop more videos, you guys will be the first to know. So thank you all, and happy, happy Easter, and stay safe. Thanks, Hans. Bye.